Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this channel. So you guys have show, shown a huge support for our videos related to control system. Uh, for because uh, in the upcoming days for fourth sem they are having the exam of control system and this is by far the best reach that we have ever got for this subject and uh, thank you guys first of all and uh, at that time th those videos i had created 10 months ago at that time i couldn't complete this module that is introduction to state variable analysis that is with respect to a syllabus it is module 5 so i'm going to provide the videos that is only members only videos uh, all the channel members can access these videos because it, it was in a huge demand that all of them were commenting that I didn't uh, upload module 5. So that's why I'm uh, planning to upload all the videos from module 5 from now. So around 6 to 7 videos where I'm going to cover all the important concepts with respect to the uh, previous year question papers, model papers, all the questions I'm going to gather it and solve it in the upcoming videos. Okay. So just one simple introduction about this module is very simple module. So I didn't have time before, uh, well, I did this, uh, well, I was doing these videos 10 months ago, I didn't have time, so that's why I skipped this module. This is a very simple module, but a lot of mathematical steps and calculations are there. If you understand that, easily you could be solving this module, okay, because this is a scoring module, easily you could be scoring marks, each and every concepts are very easy. Some set of formulas are there, you should be adapting that to the circuits and doing the necessary calculation part okay so that i'm going to tell you in detail in my upcoming videos so please stay tuned till the end don't skip any part of the videos guys because the problems which we are going to solve in the upcoming videos are very important if you do not understand you cannot solve even a single step but if you understand easily you could be scoring marks in this module okay so please please listen to the videos till the end so first let us start with the module the module name is introduction to state variable analysis okay so we need to be knowing what is meant by state, state transition, state matrix, state variables, everything in detail in this video, I'm going to discuss it to you. Okay. First concept of state. So this is one simple circuit here where they have, we have considered one V in, V out and one resistor and a capacitor is kept in parallel. Okay. So in this, uh, if you see this circuit, it would be like, uh, you would be remembering the subject called network analysis in the third sem you had, but somewhat similar, but there is some state transition, which is happening here. That is, you see here to find V out, that is the output voltage from the above circuit. We need the knowledge of the initial capacitor voltage. That is capacitor voltage should be specified. So that, that is, it would be uh, specified by using the KVL that is Kirchhoff's voltage law. If you do the loop operations, then that would be specified that we have already seen in our network analysis. Only information about V in will not be sufficient to obtain the V out. Okay. That's true. Such system in which the output is not dependent on the input, but also on the initial conditions are called as the systems with memory or dynamic systems. Okay. Such systems where output is not completely dependent on the input where uh, based on some of the initial conditions it is dependent such systems are called as dynamic systems if in the above circuit we replace capacitor with resistor the output will be dependent only on the input applied why because you see here we have altered components one is resistor and capacitor but if we replace this with the resistor we could be doing some operations in the in between the resistors since those resistors would be in parallel you could be converting into one single equivalent resistor and the uh, output would be somewhat dependent on the input. Such systems in which the output of the system depends only on the input applied at t is equal to 0 are called as systems with zero memory or static systems. Okay. So this was about dynamic and static systems where output of the system depends on the in input applied at the time interval to be 0. Those systems are called as static systems. Thus the initial conditions affect the system character characterization and subsequent behavior. So now let us see the main topic that is state. The state can be regarded as a compact and concise representation of the past history of the system. Keep this point in mind, past history of the system. So whatever the system condition was there in the past before any uh, substitution or before any replacement of the capacitor and all, that would be stored inside this state. Okay. The state of the system in brief separates the future from the past, separates the future from, from the past so that the state contains all the information concerning the past history of the.
components of the system. Thus, the complete state of the system can be considered to be a vector having components which are the variables and these variables are called as state variables so that we are going to see in, in one block diagram in the upcoming video now only of the systems which are closely associated with the initial conditions. Hence, state can be defined as the vector x of t. Okay, In this case, the state is generally defined as x of t and that is called as the state vector. This state vector so x of t that is the state at any time t is n dimensional vector n dimensional mean at any time for any values of n okay that is the column matrix n n cross 1 as shown below that is this is the how the state vector is given by that is x of t is given like this with n dimensional values you see here is equal to x1 of t x2 of t up to xn of t okay so these under this state matrix state vector matrix so these components which are present inside the matrix are called as variables okay the variables x1 of t, x2 of t, up to xn of t, which constitute the state vector x of t, are called as the state variables of the systems. Okay, so this x1, x2, with respect to time, all these things are called as state variables. So now let us see some of the important definitions. So first is state. What do you mean by state? The state of a dynamic system is defined as the minimum set of variables such that the knowledge of these variables at t equal to t0 together with the knowledge of the input set t greater than or equal to t0 completely determines the behavior of the system for t greater than t0 okay that is the far past and the future conditions of the systems would be completely dependent on the present state okay so if you want to uh, analyze the present state the past state as well as the future state upcoming state you need to be keeping a balance on that and you should be predicting the present state okay next state variables the variables involved in determining the state of a dynamic system that is x of t are called as state variables okay the state of the dynamic system would be defined by the state variables so these are the state variables which i have already told you in the in the matrix that is x1 of t x2 of t it ranges up to xn of t next is state vector the n state variable necessary to describe the complete behavior of the system can be considered as the n components of the vector x of t called as state vector Okay. So, these n components under n state variables are with respect to time is called as state vector. The state vector x of t is the vector sum of all the state variables. Okay. So, now let us see the state model of the linear system. Let us consider multiple input, multiple output of nth order system as shown below. Okay. So, this is the multiple input, multiple output system. In short, it is known as a MIMO system. In this, the inputs are multiple, okay, that is with respect to, uh, here they have given with respect to u, here that is u1, u2, up to um, okay, multiple inputs and for each input, the output is produced respectively, that is for u1, it is y1, u2, it is y2 and um, that is multiple output yp, okay, so these are the set of inputs, output and in these MIMO system, multiple input output systems, these are the state variables present. That is x1, x2, xt, which x3, which is ranging up to xn. Okay. The number of inputs are m, number of outputs are p. Okay. For this, this is the inputs, input matrix, which I have mentioned in matrix form, that is u of t. That is all the number of inputs are present here, u1 of t up to u, um of t. And this is x of t, then this is y of t. Okay. All the column vectors having orders m cross 1, n cross 1 and p cross 1 respectively. In this all, all these vectors are column vectors or these are the orders of these column vectors. Okay. For such systems, the state variable representation can be arranged in the form of n first order differential equations. Okay. So in this, how it is represented as x1 of t with respect to the first order differential equation that is d by dt of x1 of t. This could be in short called as x1 dot of t okay just write one x1 and above that you just put a dot that is the representation of the first order differential equation for second order you should be putting two dots for third order you should be putting three dots and etc okay how this is defined as f of x1 x2 up to xn comma u1 u2 up to un that is f of x comma u then d of x dx2 of t of dt that's also same thing x2 dot of t how it is defined as function of f2 of x1 x2 up to xn comma u1 u2 up to un okay where these 
f is the functional operator it, it is also ranging from f1 to fn so now let us see the two important set of equations which are necessary for you to know okay so these are the two set of equations which is a very important but in the upcoming videos which you are going to solve problems are completely dependent on these two equations which you need to be knowing for the so calculation part okay one is x dot of t that is the derivative of x of t is equal to f of x comma u comma t okay so this is called as the state equation where it, it is the function of function with respect to x u and t and y of t is the output equation and it is it is a function with respect to x u and t for g value okay so that we are going to see that how it is formed the functional equations can be represented in terms of linear combination of system states and the inputs okay like this you see here for x1 x2 up to xn first derivative how they have mentioned it here that is in matrix form a11 x1 a12 x2 up to a1n xn for a and b okay so in short it is given as this is the state equation which is given as x dot of t that is the derivative of x of t is equal to a x of t plus b u of t okay so this is just replaced by x of t and u of t okay where a is the state vector matrix of x of t is the state vector matrix of order n cross 1 and a is called as the system matrix okay and this b is called as the input matrix uh, both are of the order n cross n and n cross m okay so this is the equation for state state equation so one more we have that is for output equation that is y of t that is written as y of t is equal to c x of t plus d u of t okay where y of t is the output vector matrix of order p cross 1 okay then we have c c is called as the output matrix or the observation matrix and d is called as the direct transmission matrix of the order p cross n so in total these two set of equations are very very important in this module one is x dot of t and that equation is called a state equation that is defined by ax of t plus bu of t and next one more equation is output equation that is y of t that is given by cx of t plus du of t where a is the system matrix b is input matrix c is the observation or output matrix and d is the direct transmission matrix so these two formulas you need to be noting it down very important ones okay so this was all about the introduction part of this module so hope you understood something and uh, some set of equations i have already discussed where in this these two equations are very very important ones so please note this down and from the next video we are going to solve problems and try to understand the relation between these equations in different set of problems under state space analysis okay so from the next video we are going to solve the problem so stay tuned like this video subscribe to our channel and please do watch these videos guys because in the upcoming days you are going to have the control system exam so you need to prepare well so thank you guys stay tuned thank you